Good morning. How is everyone? Oh, I gotta move over. Hi, keyboard. Oh, we don't have the glasses cleaner yet. I mean, I know where one is, but I wish I would have cleaned my glasses this morning. But I didn't. It's okay. There's the mouse. <sighs> anyway, I, I ripped. It's Tuesday morning. I I ripped the bag. The cereal open. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not. It, I was trying to open it, and I opened it, and I was like, "Cool." And then it like split down the side, oh. and I did not lose any Cheerios. I am sorry. But I got close. I'm very sorry. Okay. Now that's a little better. Maybe. <gasps> okay. It goes whip, blum, blum, blum. Renee said, what a heart healthy decision this morning. Are they cinnamon Cheerios? Yeah, so, um, at the Costco, they had a, a duo box of uh, cinnamon Cheerios and cinnamon checks. Yeah. And I have already finished all of the cinnamon checks. I also think it was the first time I've ever bought checked cereal in my life. And they were um, good. It was it was really good. I'm I'm hoping that the cinnamon Cheerios are also good, but I I do not know. Let me turn off this light. I don't know. I don't either. I'm gonna... You can go get your coffee? Yes. Forgot there was coffee. I'm not a big fan of Cheerios. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> More for you. More for me, really. Okay. All right. Hi. I think we're... Two things. We're a little more zoomed out than we normally are, but I had no one down here to test it. Uh, Mal was asleep. And then the second thing is everything is real bright here. It's fine. Looks like goldfinch. It's fine. I'll start reading some alerts while you eat your cereal. Ooh! <coughs> Those were good. Good. Those are good. Anyway. We had 35 months from Rylong. Uh, 42 months from Jennifer Jack. 28 months from Alice. Forsyth, uh, five gift subs from Mark from Vermont, and they went to Miss Nintendique, A Lover's Rose, ASDBG123, uh, Elf UI, uh, and May Kitsune. Two Kitsune. Sorry. I was distracted by all the Eddies in chat. <laughs> You have the real Eddie right next to you. I know, he made the ooh noise. Uh, we had nine months from Swift for Sweeper, 26 months from Four Wolf. Uh, Amehari gifted two subs and they went to Unlucky Crow and uh, Criara FYCSO. Sorry. You're doing great. This cereal was wonderful. I'm glad. Uh, Star Bloom Fate, uh, reset to 22 months. Zach Lumberjack is at 8 months. Penguin Frog is at 40 months. And we had 32 months from Writer Book Ninja. Lost Vagabond gifted a sub to Malier. Uh, 
We have 34 months from Aldo. 18 months from Sunny Ambi. 14 months from uh, Musicos1. 300 bits from Radio Dread who said, It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a levitating clown. <laughs> this is levitation. 30 months from Jacket K. 23 months from Gamers007000. 46 months from Spiffla. Uh, we had 300 bits from Noir Kitty, uh, who said clown. 26 months from Phoenix Suzu. So. Uh, 38 months from It's Ashio 9. I love making Mao read all the alerts, it's great. Well, I'm not going to talk the rest of breakfast stream now. I'm just going to eat my yogurt and drink my coffee and leave. Somehow I don't think that that's what will happen. I could. We had 46 months from JCJX, 18 months from Good Fay Fox, and 32 months from Triforce Drummer. Thank you all. You had all the alerts? Uh-huh. Good work. Armor Frog says, Mal is playing the tactical long game. Yes. I will go back to bed. Did you not sleep so good last night? No, I did not. Why? I don't know. I was warm. I don't know. I went to bed, and I remember right before I went to bed, I was thinking, I'm gonna have to wake up in the middle of the night and pee, because I drank a lot of liquid right before bed. Mm -hmm. And then when I woke up, it was morning. And I did have to pee really bad, but it was morning, and I was like, oh. Never mind. Anyway. Three, three and a bits from Arpigia says, so I watched the newest Stephen and Friends episode and Steven, you were just wrong. I would be bothered by a friend's house having no soap, but I would be highly alarmed by the lack of a toilet. Mm. No, I'm gonna stick with my original answer. I mean, if someone had a toilet, like in their backyard, you know, they had an outhouse. That's fine. I didn't fine. say that. Hmm? It wasn't like no toilet in the house, but there's an outhouse. I mean, it's subjective. You have to interpret things how you're going to interpret them. So I, I choose to interpret that there is not a toilet inside the house. And under that assumption, there is then a toilet elsewhere. Or there's not a toilet. You poop in the woods, whatever. But here's the thing, here's the thing. If you go to the bathroom in the woods, you still gotta wash your hands. Where's the soap? So you're telling me Someone decided not to have a toilet. It's their personal decision. And then they they did not put soap in their house. Nah, that's crazy. I think I'm the only sane person. That's what I think. Everyone else. Nope. They voted the toilet. The clear answer, I think, was soap. My grandparents had an outhouse. Yeah? Like an actual legitimate functioning one. But they also had an indoor bathroom. When they lived up north Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. And, um... Put on your ballroom gown and enjoy Tiny Eddie's fun-sized soup Richie's. It's thousand from Bella Bunny. It says, I've been up for six hours and it's only 6 a.m. Eddie knocked me out with something. Oh, God. 
Do you have a ballroom gown? Put it on. And then, and then eat soup. <laughs> the number one thing to eat when wearing a ballroom gown. Soup. Soup Richies. So they're, they're Richies filled with soup. Which is actually even somehow more dangerous. You need to get some sleep, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, although sometimes it, it is like that. Right? Like you, you just, you don't have any control over it and you're just like, well, yeah. I'm awake. And then at some point, at some point your body's like, sleep? And then if you're in a good spot, you can be like, yeah, sleep a little bit. Sleep a little bit. Sleep a little bit. I'm almost done with these. Mm, I'm almost done with my yogurt. It's good work. Anyway, um, my grandparents lived up north, and um, sometimes, like, the whole family would come up, and, like, my grandparents had seven children, so there were a lot of aunt and uncles and cousins, and there was only one bathroom up there. So, like, I know sometimes, like, my dad would go out and use the outhouse, because, you know, sometimes you need to go and someone else is in the bathroom. I feel like my dad had an outhouse. I think they had, you know, indoor plumbing as well. But there was at least like a period in his life where there was an outhouse or something. Mm. I also vaguely remember um, the bus stops, or the school bus stops at the end of the streets up in West Virginia. Oh, they do that in Wisconsin. Where they have the little, um... Little building? Yeah. To protect kids from the wind? Yeah. It's a small building. Yeah. It's a, like a little tiny, tiny thing. I remember when I was young thinking that that was an outhouse. And my dad was like, oh no, that's like you wait there when it's... When there's the blizzard. <laughs> when it was really cold on some mornings and they hadn't canceled school. Mm -hmm. Carly and I would sit in the garage... And there was that access door right next to it. And we would have it like just barely cracked open so we could see and hear the bus if it came. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any, <laughs> thank you, Brandon. Anything can be an outhouse if you try hard enough. I don't recommend it. But yeah, anything. Anything, anything, anywhere, at least once. Eight months from Saracen. Uh, 20 months from Cody the Positron. Appreciate it. There's an art MQ. Is that for, <laughs> is that for us? Is that for us? Is that for now? We usually show that sort of stuff near the end. I'm going to show it right now as a special treat. I want to see it. Aww. Oh, that is adorable. That is not particularly representative of of, of what yesterday. What happened yesterday? <laughs> but it is it is something that has happened in the past. I do love it. We um we for July Fourth walked outside. Yeah. In the driveway. Uh huh. And then we looked around. And we could see some fireworks barely above the trees, obscured. And we were like, oh. And then we turned and went inside, and then there was a huge explosion. And Just over the trees. And a neighbor that was real close by set off a big one. And I might have caught it on the camera. And then that was when we realized that there was a neighbor that was like, real close that was going to set off fireworks and then we went back outside and they set off a few very sporadically and then we came back inside <laughs> also if there if a firework goes off like really really near you and you do not know that there is going to be a firework near you and you are outside it is 
very alarming. Yeah. I w that that one got me. I was like, I was like, all right, we're going back inside. And I, I I was vlogging at the time, and then all of a sudden there was just an explosion, and I was like, oh. Is that anyway, Kepler did good. I mean, um, you know, he doesn't love it. He and he. Sounds familiar. He he invented a new hiding spot just for just for just for fireworks mm -hmm. because he had not yet been under the table on a chair in that tiny space. So he invented a new spot just for that. Um. But I mean, he he was all right. He wasn't like frantically searching for a place to to go. He yeah. He just sat there all night. And then at some point he got hungry, and then that completely trumped all of his fears of the booms. And he came out and he's like, meow. I'm like, okay. Where is he now? He's on his um, chair by the back door where he was on Thursday morning. He's yeah. watching the birds outside. One, one thing about it is that um, I do feel like there was more fireworks Tell me if I'm wrong. I felt like there was more fireworks last night in the neighborhood than there was at our last place neighborhood. Mm, there was a lot at our last place. I feel like they went on shorter here. Didn't happen as long. There was a strict cutoff. Yeah. I know this. A pretty early cutoff, it felt like. Yeah. Um either 10 or 10.30, like you just did not hear anymore. Yeah. Whereas the last place we lived, you would, <laughs> you would definitely, you would definitely hear them. Are fireworks legal in North Carolina? I don't actually know. I do mm -hmm. know there's a lot of firework, like stores right on the border. Uh, mm, mm, mm. The firework stores are in North Carolina, right? I don't know. Or are they all on the border? No, they're in the... I saw pop-up tents with them in North Carolina. Like, Wisconsin does pop-up tents only seasonally. Oh, for here? Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah, they're, they're legal. They don't sell them in places that, like, you can't use them. Yeah. Right? That would be insane. Know. You can't... In Wisconsin, can't... you had to buy a permit, and people would, but not everyone would. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Huh. Very few people did. So, like, the big ones that go up into the air, like, those were a lot harder to get in Wisconsin. Yeah, uh, South Carolina doesn't really have a whole lot of restrictions. I don't know what North Carolina is like. It's like different states. Another fun reminder for international viewers, we are 50 small countries. Um, they all have their own rules and regulations about things. I actually saw a... Um, a chart at some point it was like a map of the US and it was color coded for like what level of thing you could have in the state so for fireworks and as Brandon points out sometimes even smaller localities it's true on a on a city or county level they'll even have restrictions but like in um, Myrtle Beach they don't want you to let them off on the beach and I've heard Sometimes they look like I've heard like, oh, well, they look the other way, but I've also heard, oh, no, they're real strict. Coffee. I've seen people blow themselves up on the beach. When you say that, it sounds like a Looney Tunes explosion to me. I mean, kind of is. <laughs> but I've seen I've seen I've seen that happen where I've been on the beach, watching from a distance. Did you and, see what Cabri said? And they're setting off fireworks, and then uh, one of them explodes on like the ground, and then the paramedics come. You, miss, you missed it. Down. Right there. Oh, that that's an alert. Oh. 300 bits from Cabri, it says the fireworks that go on uh, that go in the air are illegal in North Carolina that doesn't stop anyone. Really? That would explain our neighbors who only had like the fountains. Uh, 
Yeah, there were plenty of things in the air last night. <laughs> Something's in the air. Something's in the air. That's what it reminded me of. Dirty Bits from Satsu says, I'm getting headaches. Seems like a lot of eye strain, so I suppose I'll be finding a new optician. Haven't looked since moving last. Gotta make sure it's not a clown like my last doctor. If you're having a lot of eye problems, you might want to look into an ophthalmologist. Yeah. Espe well, especially if you've ha if you've if you have multiple opticians and the opticians aren't helping you. Yeah. That being said, um, eye strain sucks because, like you said, it leads to headaches, mm -hmm. um, which is bad. Which is really bad um, for the folks that suffer from chronic headaches. I wish you well. I have no idea how you do it because uh, I very rarely get headaches, and when I get a headache, I feel like the world is ending. So, um, good vibes for anyone who deals with those on a, on a very regular basis, because um, it's uh, terrible. It's actually terrible. When I get the headaches, I just go blind. <laughs> I usually don't have any sort of um, pain. pain. That was a high school thing. In high school, I, I was getting headaches a lot. Uh, but now, just the blindness. Which, you know, sounds a lot worse than it is. It's just like, you can't see for like, 15 minutes. Uh, we got 350 bits from Radio Dredge, this new clown. It sounds like it. I wish we, I wish we knew how many clowns there were, but I don't think even Chaz knows. Yeah. There's, you know, at, le at least 10? Maybe 15? I don't know. For those who haven't heard of, uh, it, calling it headache-induced blindness would be inaccurate. It is a, the, the official term, what are they called? Um, ocular? Ocular. There's actually multiple names for it that they have, but ocular migraine um, or an aura. Aura is also uh, appropriate. And what it, how it works is you, you basically white out. Like you get something in your vision and it starts small and it starts to grow larger until it encompasses your whole vision. Um, and then it stays that way for a period of time. It's different for each person. And then it goes away. Sometimes I get like kaleidoscopy in a spot or like there's a hole and it's like the kaleidoscopy zigzaggy yeah. rainbow so, lines around the edge. Yeah. So these, um, they usually come in, I think, three different patterns. and flavors. Um, yeah, Three different d delicious flavors. And it can either be completely white as if you're like looking at a light and then you look away. It can be like a kaleidoscope or it can be uh, like um, zigzags, like, like television static. So one of those things will happen. I usually get static, but I can also get the others. Coffee. I don't know what causes you to get one over the other. Yeah. I like to. I also like to call them eye grains because I think it's fun. Um, and if you tell if you tell a uh, a doctor or an eye specialist like you have an eye grain, like I think they'll understand what you're saying. Um, but yeah, whenever I, I started getting those in high school, and they were accompanied with a migraine, and it was terrible. And then as I got older, I grew out of the migraine part. <laughs> and I kept all of the blindness stuff. Um, and I, I have gotten one of those once a month bare minimum since I was 15, I think. So at least once a month I get one and there's been periods of my life where I get them far more frequently. In Colombia, I was getting them all the time. Yeah. Like multiple times a week. And I didn't figure out why. I got them a lot at the last house and the house before, but that was like the first time I'd had it. 
and I haven't had one in probably two years. Um, Fizzy Boy says, does it come with pain or is it painless? So it's, it's completely painless, but it, it is frequently associated with migraines. So like in high school, whenever I got them, it would usually be preceded by a migraine. So like I'd get a migraine and you know, a migraine is very different from a headache. So a migraine would come on and I'd be like, oh God. And then I knew I was gonna go blind at some point. And then that would happen. And at some point that flip flopped where I would get the blindness and then after the blindness, it would go to the migraine. And then by the time I got into college, the migraine part was just gone and it was just the blindness. So there's no pain associated at all. Now. It's, now, it's, it's largely a, a, an inconvenience um, because it's such a slow process that it's not a danger even like while you're driving. Like if I'm, dr if I'm driving and I know that it's, gonna, it's starting to happen because it starts with a very, very small portion of your vision. You'll be like a very, very small portion of your vision gets a little zigzag or like a, a light or something, you know it's happening. So at that point, you can be like, oh, I'm gonna stop. Um, caffeine helps uh, a lot of times um, if, I, if I'm gonna get one at home. Uh, when I notice it's starting to happen, I'll just get a Coke. So I just, that's, that's like, that's my medication. It's like, well, I'm gonna go get a Coke. So I'll get a Coke and then I'll try to work while I have it, but the best thing you can do is like lay down. Like if you just, if you take like a 15, 20 minute nap, it seems to help. Anyway. See, I get cluster headaches. That is different. Yeah. <laughs> there are 18 clowns. Oh my God, they're named. Original, sorry, this is, this is, this is like going to a wing place and they're like, what flavor you want on your wings? Well, we've got original, deep, Lionel, up, whoop, healthcare, haha, -ha, confused, loud, pet dog, skibbity, toilet, mow, woo, -hoo, shuckle, stantler, articuno, and levitating. Um, yeah, I think I'm in a shuckle and articuno mood. Oh, yeah, the Pokemon special. Yeah, we'll serve that right up. Yeah, I think I'll take the healthcare wings. Which country do you live in? Sir, you're gonna have to show your passport. <laughs> we got 12 months from Annie 11037. Congrats on the one. And uh, yeah, uh, also, I know we've shouted out Vagabond for audio help before, but um, Vagabond is frequently the one who actually Isolates it. Isolates those clowns to give to Chaz to put into the system. It's a special round of applause for both Chaz and Vagabond for making, um, was it 18? 18. 18 different 18. clowns. <laughs> this baby can hold 18 different clowns. Add clown isolator to your resume. Confuse your next job. <laughs> I think that's how you that's that's how you find out if someone read your resume. Yeah. You put something insane in it, and if they don't ask about it and you don't get the job, you know that they never even read it. You know. So when when they they they, they call you and they're like, you know, we we, we decided not to to, to fill to, to to fill the position otherwise you go, you didn't read my resume, did you? They'd be like, what? You didn't read my resume. Well, it was, it was a good resume, was it? Because <laughs> there was one piece of information on it that was insane. <laughs> you didn't question any of my job experience? <laughs> Brandon, if there's ever a time to put wild stuff in a resume, it's now when they can't afford to reject you for dumb stuff. Also, who knows? Maybe they're looking for a clown isolator. You don't know that. Maybe that's part, that's like a, a separate part. Like you work, separate. like you're trying to get a job at Cisco and they're like, about once a month, 
Someone runs through here in a clown outfit, and we've been trying to get a hold of them. And it looks it looks here that you're a clown isolator. Is that something that you could help us with? You don't know. It could happen. <laughs> I have to keep reading alerts. I'll talk about clown isolation all day. Five months from Dragon Loot. Uh, 14 months from Miami, Florence. 300 bits from Cock9 says, I know a couple years ago Iowa legalized fireworks. Then nearly every city and some counties in Iowa banned setting them off. Bunch of clowns. I mean, that just goes to show sometimes uh, the what <laughs> what happens at the state level does not necessarily reflect what folks on the the lower branches of government want, so then they just ban it on their their own. Personally, and I saw some other people saying this earlier, I also prefer to go to like a place that's setting them off. Mm -hmm. Like I'd rather see them done in a professional environment. For one, it's safer, right? That's one of the big things is that it's safer. Um, not only for the people involved and the people watching, but also like the environment, because uh, there's a lot of fires. <laughs> there's a lot of fires. And then uh, second off, it's better. It's a better show. When I was in middle school, someone that was in my class, her dad was like making fireworks like for his job. And there was a conference that came to- um, Really glad you added for his job. Yeah, for, he, that was his job. So there was like a conference, like the PAX equivalent in the firework world that happened in Kakana mm -hmm. at WIR, which is the raceway, that like the country race track. Yeah. Like where people start before they go up to NASCAR. Yeah. So it was there and like you could buy tickets and watch like all the fireworks go off. I mean, that would be cool. I And, and like... I, I like fireworks. Um, I don't have anything intrinsically against fireworks, and I I have set off fireworks in the past. But like, it is there, there is a sense of fear when you're doing it because like you're just some guy that went to a store and bought like a giant explosive, and now you're sitting there with a with a lighter, and you're like, man. I, I have a lot of hope that whoever made this firework did it correctly, because if not, like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, anyway, I lived, uh, but it's, here, um, it is kind of, it is kind of weird. Yeah. Like, we don't let people buy explosives otherwise, but for the, for this particular set of explosives, we're like, well, that's okay. <laughs> We have, ex we have entire stores that sell explosives just for this. And you can, you're just Joe Schmo. Just go get some. It's totally fine. Okay, what if I want to buy a hand grenade? Don't you dare buy a hand grenade. <laughs> I guess hand grenade on, on ground firework intended to go up. Yeah. Not, not quite a one-to-one, -one, but it is weird that we, you know. <laughs> Noah says, because they're explosives with style. Kippo, come on. If a hand grenade had confetti, <laughs> a fireworks store would sell it. Uh, 23 months from Willie Joel 345. Five months from Llama's Attack. 300 bits from Kid Shadow. It says, I love any sound Steven makes. Any sound at all uh, can become a clown. Some, there, I, there's like a special subset of sounds that can become a clown. And then, past that, they become their own thing. But I don't get to decide what becomes its own thing. Because sometimes the trigger word is clown, and then other times, other things get their own trigger words. But like, how do you know what's going to happen? Only Chaz knows. Unlucky Crow says, wait, there's fireworks stores in the US? Not everywhere. It's, it's on a state-by-state -state basis, but overwhelmingly yes overwhelmingly yes like 
I can huge think of stores. like three or four in the Myrtle Beach area. But you that's... can only think of that many? Yeah. Oh my god, I can think in Myrtle Beach alone. Ten? Probably. That would be my ten? guess. If not more. But if I was like driving you there without directions and searching on Google, I can take you to four or five. Yeah, but they're legal in the state, so they're everywhere in the state. Yeah. But yeah, there's there's all sorts of things. But people don't really go to the store. Like they're all they look empty and closed a lot of the time. Like the lights are on, there is someone working, but like no one's shopping there in May. Uh, yeah, they do enough business one day of the year to stay in business all year round. And Real Shifter says, there was that one place you mentioned repeatedly passing in the vlog, I think it was called Sparky's, that sells fireworks and gas. Yeah, um... Does South of the Border sell fireworks? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of places sell fireworks, to be honest. Um, I think the thing that is funny well, it's funny to me, it's, I think it's traumatizing to a lot of other folks, is learning that we have fireworks stores attached to gas stations in the U.S. Um, like in, in Myrtle Beach, uh, there, there's at least like one like huge gas station and like attached to the gas station is just a fairly big fireworks store. Like it's on the same property. And you do, you know, you do see that and you go, huh. You know, it seems like that could be bad, but you know what? It's been fine. Everything is fine until it's not. So anyway, 300 bits from Grandson Brambo. It says, uh, did you know there's a new character in Stranger Things Season 4 named Argyle? Every time his name was said, I thought of the, li the wizard lizard. I am very much looking forward to watching Stranger Things when it's done. I hear that they're going to do one more season, and then it's done, so I'll watch it, I say soon, in a year? I guess I'll watch it in a year. He really curled up into a tight ball on my lap. He's a good boy. I don't like watching shows until they're over, because um, I forget, like a year gap is too long. Four weeks is too long. I'll, I'll completely forget everything I ever knew about the show. So I like to watch it all at once. And um, Stranger Things has been on my list of like, oh, I think I'd really like this, but I haven't been able to watch it because it's not done. But it's going to be done soon, and then I'm going to watch it. Do you remember Super? Eh, kind of. <laughs> It's a lot of yelling. <laughs> um, we uh, we actually um, we actually start. We were trying to decide what we were going to watch next since we finished Super. Isn't it my turn to pick? Yes. Okay. But I was going to say that we started watching um, uh, Looney Tunes. Yeah. We started watching Looney Tunes because. Uh, we, when we signed up for internet, you, they gave they gave uh, us HBO Max for free, and I was like, "That's neat." And on HBO Max, they have um, Looney Tunes, and uh, I was like, "Oh man, Mal and I both wanted to watch Looney Tunes, so we we decided just to go like the very beginning, like 1932 Looney Tunes." So we've just been watching them in order. <laughs> and there's huge gaps of, of episodes missing. I presume things that are uh, probably extremely racist from the 1930s that they were like, eh, take those out. Um, but it's been fun to watch the old stuff because you remember way more than you think you will. Mm -hmm. Like we were watching one and it was from 32. Uh, we were watching one the other night, and like I just started reciting the lines in it, and it was just it's in here, and I, I had no idea that it was in there. I just started like saying the lines as the characters were saying them, and I'm like, I can't believe I know what this is. Um, yeah. 
So anyway, um, that's been fun. Although we have a, you know, a ways to go before we get to... The characters you know. <laughs> well, yeah, like the, when you think of Looney Tunes, you don't think of like... Uh, <laughs> goopy gear. <laughs> Goopy Gear is not really what comes to mind. <laughs> but we've been watching Goopy Gear uh, because that's like one of the earliest Looney Tunes minor characters. It's cool. Bugs to... doesn't come into like the 40s. Yeah. I mean, we have in like that's that's many years. We have several. <laughs> several years. We have several seasons of Looney Tunes to watch before we even get to like Bugs Bunny. Porky Pig is in is in the beginning though. Like yeah, yeah there's there's early early Porky Pig. His character designs completely different. Who's but... the other one right now? Beans the Cat? Beans the Cat? Yeah. Yeah. It is it it is astounding how good this early stuff is though. You know, like it, it it's good. Like it's actually good. Also, yeah, beans here. It's appropriate. Uh, <laughs> why not? Um, the uh, like the 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 animation quality is extremely good. Um, it's still entertaining. Like even now, I mean, it's it's been, I mean, quite literally ninety years. Yeah. Since these original Looney Tunes and like it's it's still good it's still really good uh, and I think that is impressive it's impressive anyway I'm gonna keep reading uh, we get three and a bit from Slick Duke who says let's talk about loud noises in the morning neighbor a couple of doors down was getting their roof replaced and it started at 6 a.m. luckily I was already awake at that time but thinking of everyone else around. I feel like that should be against the law. Yeah. I feel like that should be not allowed. 8 a.m. That's when, yeah. if you're gonna work, I even, I'd even, I'd even settle for seven. I don't like it, but I would settle for seven. 6 a.m. is too early. Yeah. Like that's too, that, no, that's, no. 8 a.m. would be best. I'll settle for 7. 6 a.m. is too early. You don't get started on, on doing that sort of stuff at 6. They would do um, they would do construction behind our house at the old place, and they would get started at 7, and they would work until 7 or 8. And they would, you could hear like um, heavy equipment, like trucks and stuff backing up, like that beep, yeah. beep, like into like 2 a.m. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's a lot. I don't, uh, I don't love it. I don't love it. But you know, there hasn't been any construction or anything going on here. It's actually remarkably quiet here. Yeah. And I thought our last place was, aside from the construction, remarkably quiet. So that's been, um, that's been nice. It's been nice. We haven't really gotten a chance to meet neighbors because it's been so ungodly hot that yeah. there's not a chance to like walk around and and see people but we've you know seen some folks from a distance it seems to be a pretty uh, uh, an eclectic collection of of yeah uh, people and backgrounds and ages and things like that whereas where we lived before this is basically a, a very we were some of the youngest people in our old neighborhood if not the youngest yeah Everyone was very old, which I don't mind because it keeps the neighborhood quiet, but it seems to be really quiet here too, so that's good. That's not a problem. Uh, we got nine months from Kit Khalid, 28 months from Juliet 27, 23 months from Stoop Kid 241, 30 months from Callium, three to bits from the thrill of it says, so how have your, if I recall co correctly, post-TGA headaches been? Uh, also, clown time. Uh, I dealt with the post TGA stuff for probably three or four weeks. Does that sound right? Yeah. Um, and that was, it was the, like a month. Yeah, and that was the most headaches I have had 
at one time, like every day, kind of. Yeah, since maybe ever. Like I, th that was when I was de I was you know I was actually dealing with headaches just chronically for a month or so, but then it went away, and uh, so that was probably it. Probably was done by middle to late. February, I guess. So I haven't had it since. Now, if I have another TGA episode, I'll probably more. I'll probably have more headaches. Some people report but... having headaches prior, like leading up to it, and then they have the TGA, and some people have it after. Mm. Yeah, uh, I definitely had it after. <laughs> uh, I may never have another TGA episode, though. So, and st statistically, I won't. Right? Mm -hmm. One is rare, two is super rare, three basically never happens. Of course, if you go online, you find people that they've yeah. had three, so we'll see. We'll see. I, told, I already told Mal, I said, if it happens again, turn on the camera and start asking me questions. Because I'm, I'm, I'm super curious to see what I know. I really want to find out, like, in that moment, how far back I am remembering things. Uh, we got 36 months from Silvana. That is a three. Congrats on the three. Uh, Armored Frog gifted a sub to Isolated Clown. <laughs> we got him. 22 months from Space Cat Zero. 23 months from Desitel Racing 62. Uh, 33 months from Comic Queen 96. 46 months from DC 20 Will Save. And 300 bits from The Relude says, Since you're watching Looney Tunes, I suggest tracking down the Golden Collection volumes, which include tons of fun stuff such as post serial ads, tons of history things, specials that haven't been re-aired in decades, shorts that wouldn't be on HBO Max at all, and an introduction by Whoopi Goldberg. I won't lie, I have an interest in seeing all of that stuff, but it is a lot easier to watch on HBO Max. <laughs> in, in complete fairness. Um, The convenience, hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> you are really curled into a little bean kippy. Looney Tunes Golden Collection. Wait, is it just, hold on. Oh, they have released lyrics they have okay is this six four disc dvd box sets each containing about six okay so it's six four disc sets so it's 24 discs on december 27th 2011 warner repackaged all volumes in a single pack Yeah, I I have an interest in that. I like Looney Tunes a lot, um, but the thing that, that's the problem is like after I've seen everything on if I watch it on like HBO, how many things am I then missing? And it, the number of things that I'm missing that's exclusive just to the Golden Collection is probably pretty small. I don't know. I might look into it. If I found it for real, real cheap, I might actually do it. Because I really love watching, like, the old stuff and, like, seeing, like, the, um, like, the history and, like, as things yeah. change. That is really cool. Um, which is one of the reasons why we didn't jump straight into, um, you know, Bugs Bunny or, or whatever. Is, is because watching from the very beginning is like, oh... Cool. Look at this. Like this is you. You kind of see some of the starts. So the, the the character that we were watching last night, Goopy Gear, he looked just like Goofy, like uh, Walt Disney character Goofy, and his name's Goopy. And Mal and I were like, "What the crap? Which one of these came first? So we looked it up, and they came out at the same time, the same year. 
um, because uh, Mickey was from 28. Yeah. Four years later, they added Goofy in 32. That was the same year that uh, Warner Brothers did Goopy. And it's literally completely coincidental. The characters are one letter away in name and they look identical. And it's coincidental. There was no way they could have known. They didn't. They definitely didn't copy each other. It's just, oh, this happened the same year. Um, the difference is that Goofy became a character that, you know, is still around. Is still around. And also, he wasn't named Goofy at the very beginning. He had a different name. I don't remember I what it was. I don't really know much about Disney stuff, but I I am capable of reading Wikipedia. <laughs> And uh, I was looking at it before, and it, it was, he was named something else. Dippy Dog, yeah. That's a terrible name. <laughs> Dippy, Dippy, Dippy Dog sounds like a mascot for a chewing tobacco company. <laughs> like, Dippy Dog proudly uh, chews his skull. Like, that's Dippy Dog. Anyway. Um, yeah, but Goopy Gear only sur was only around for like a handful of characters. Years. Or year, uh, no, episodes. episodes. He wasn't around for, I think he was only in 1932, do, 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 so it was a very do, like small do, amount of time. <laughs> Love Dippy Dog. <laughs> Three new bits from Slick Duke says, The Looney Tunes talk reminds me of when Cartoon Network would run all of the Bugs Bunny cartoons over three days. I ended up recording all of the episodes on VHS and still have the tapes. Cartoon Network also used to be a little limited in what they had. Yeah. They got started. I, uh, there, there was a period of time where Cartoon Network was literally the all Scooby-Doo channel. Like, it, was the, it was like the only like license mm -hmm. they had. It's like you turn on Cartoon Network and you're like, oh, Scooby-Doo, which is the only show that you show. Um, it got better. But um, Vagabond says, no, that was Boomerang. No, it was not. <laughs> It was Cartoon Network. This was before Boomerang uh, existed. Um, Cartoon Network was... Uh, they were just getting their start. And they were I guess they were probably buying They had stuff. Speed Racer. Carly watched Speed Racer. Yeah, they, they, were, they, were, they were getting their start and they were just buying things. Um, I don't think they had any original content at the time. Um, and it was just, it was just Scooby-Doo, basically all the time. And then eventually they started adding stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I remember early, early Nickelodeon too. Um, they had, they had, they had like, they had like Rugrats and another thing? Anyway, uh, six months from Chris Smith Videos TV. And three into bits from Kit Khalid says, did Mao ever find a new pillow? Had to deal with shoulder issues for a while and recently found a boomerang pillow. That is great. Mine is Beauty Rest, but there's other brands. It probably looks exactly like how you imagine it. Um, Mao never no. got one. No, no you didn't. We, you we haven't gone one. to a store that has the pillow I want to try. Uh, which one's that? Uh, I want to try... I don't know. I know it's at Target. Some Targets. I can't remember. Okay. It was like three months ago I looked into it, and now I have forgotten. Because moving stress. I, I definitely feel like I could use a new pillow at this point. And I'm someone that doesn't care. I, and I'm now to the point where I'm like, I think I care. I think I care. My, my, my pillow... It, is just clumps. It's just little clumps, and it's not terribly um, yeah. comfortable. So I'm I'm to the point now where I could probably consider that. Uh, but Mal's the one that's Mal's the one that's complained knew, about it. So I wish I knew what pillow I had before we switched to this bed. I cut the tags off, and I really liked it, and it's still really good. And sometimes Why'd I you still cut the tags off because I don't like the tags. You put it inside the but case. Then they crinkle right there. Of 
We got them at Costco and we lived in the blue wall house and they were super heavy pillows and I loved it and it didn't get lumpy and it didn't have any problems. Anyway. Feel delighted from your knuckle to your eye with tiny of these mint water muffins. Feel, feel delighted from your knuckle to your eye sounds like a threat, doesn't it? Right? That was a bit from Item Crafting Live. It says, back in the day, there were talks about having Dippy Dog advertise this product from Small Edward's Flavor Cake Bakery. Dippy Dog just punches you in the eye. Mint water muffins. Also, I, I hate the phrase mint water. I don't just like that. Just throw some mint leaves in the water and do like an infusion. Mint water. I don't like that. Maybe throw some like blackberries in there. I can I I can be okay with water muffins. I can't be okay with mint water. You've never had mint tea. Well, it's not mint tea. <laughs> it's mint water. Something about that strikes me as very disgusting. I'm not sure why. I don't. I don't dislike um, mint. Yeah. But I don't know. I. I just don't. I don't really want things watered down. That's just gross to me. I'm like, don't do that. Like either have it or don't. Don't water it down. You got the hiccups. I do. How can I help? You can't. They'll go away on their own. Um, let's talk about the things that are happening today. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, today... At? Today, Pokemon is back. Dan has uh, been feeling well enough to um, work on stuff again, so there's an episode of Pokemon today. Um, it's got a great thumbnail. I think it's a great thumbnail. Uh, so that's that's today. Um, Patreon video? The Patreon video is out. Uh, I released that last night. It features um, an updated house tour along with... Oh, I forgot uh, I had the laugh. That's what that is. Something tickled my neck and I touched it and it was the laugh. Features an updated house tour and also talks about like what we're hoping to achieve in each individual room. Um, hopefully, some in some cases long term, but we're we're working at it. Um, what else? Disc only is tonight. Yeah. Disc only is back. We didn't do disc only last month, uh, not because of me. I know folks would be very quick to be like, well, you moved. I was, I said I could do it. And they told me there was too much other stuff going on. <laughs> Which, in fairness, there was. Because we did move. Uh-huh. Um, and John was out of town. And Tom was sick. Jared should have done the show by himself. Jared could have done it. Uh, so yeah, a combination of all those things prevented us from just doing it last uh, last month, but we're doing yeah. it tonight uh, at the time that we always do it, which I think is nine. I think nine p.m. Eastern is the uh, the, the time. time. So that that'll be happening. Um, I am excited to do the show, but also. I don't have, like my office is set up, it's still bare bones. There is, my office is so echoey. I mean, so incredibly echoey. And if that comes across on the recording, then it just will. Because I have no, I, it's not set yeah. up. We were going to put up curtains last night, which would have helped. And we got out the curtain rod and realized that it doesn't fit the width of the the windows is greater than the curtain rod that used to be at the old house. And we realized like, 
Oh wait, the old house had one window. This is two windows. We need a different curtain rod. So we looked at the old living room curtain rod because that was three windows. And we realized we don't have that hardware here. That hardware is still in Myrtle Beach. Yeah. 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 It's fine. It's fine. So, um... This is gonna deal with it when I deal with it. There's so many things. Moving sucks and unpacking sucks and setting up the house sucks and everything sucks. Mm -hmm. um, because there's so much to do and you can only, you can only give some amount of, of things your, your attention in a day. Yeah. So like in a day you have to pick and shoot and like you're trying to do that while you're also working. So like you're working and then at some point you deviate from that and you have to like pick something to work on in the house and you're like, well, I'll do this. And there's still a million things. And I'm like, what am I? What am I? <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really nerve wracking. And I, I want to be clear that, um, July has been, is going way better than June. June was yeah. the most stressful month I've had in years. Mr. Zip, it's out already. But yeah, full version of the Elden Ring painting's out. Um, but still, July is going to be yeah. something. It's going to be something. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We're getting there. 300 bits from Vosix, who says, after dodging it twice, I finally got COVID last weekend. I had a 38 degrees Celsius super fever and felt like an oven on Sunday. And now my throat hurts and I'm coughing like crazy. Seems like the third time was the curse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fossix. I mean, I'm glad that you dodged it the first two times. Yeah. Um, but I guess, you know, to, to a degree, it, it does feel like it's, it's going to, it's going to catch people at some point because yeah. it's, it is endemic. Like it's just, it's everywhere. Um, I just wish you the best in recovering and resting drink liquids which you don't need to be told but you know <laughs> liquids liquids like make your body good you could drink more liquids i'm not great at it your camelback is clean i need to put i need yes yes <laughs> but i am drinking a liquid then you're good then you're good I hope that uh, I hope that the word. So if you felt like an oven on Sunday, it's what, and it's it's Tuesday. So I'm hoping that like, for a lot of folks I've talked to, the the worst of it comes pretty quick and seems to be fairly short lived. Like they feel crappy for a while, but like yeah. the the bad crap, <laughs> the worst of the crap seems to be very concentrated. So um, I hope that the the concentrated crappiness is over soon, at the very least. And then you can just start feeling a little better. Uh, we got three hundred bits from Kid Shadow. It says, I'm surprised yet entertained that you guys are still keeping Disc Only going after two years. Keep up the good content. It's hard to believe that we've been doing it this long. Yeah. I can't believe it's been two years. Um, it's been fun to do. I like it. There are more lyrics. As a reminder, when we migrated from um, the old stream box to the new stream box. You lost all your check marks? Yeah, like all of the stuff got reset. I probably could have exported that. Somehow. Yeah, that's probably a XML file I can export out of iTunes, but I never did. totally fine yeah disc only um disc only's been fun i've 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 thoroughly enjoyed doing it um and i guess we will keep doing it that's it that's the whole thing 
That's the whole, that's the whole comment. Um, any other things to announce for today? I don't think so. All right. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, thank y'all for, for being here. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday. On Thursday. And um, I'll probably make this tighter. Because it's a little far away. Yeah. And I could expose it better. And by expose it better, I mean expose it's it at all. It's partly cloudy, so it's been like sunny, shadow, uh, shady all morning. We could sure use some rain here in Raleigh, though. Vagabond says, turn the living room lights on. Do you want to see what happens when we turn the living room lights on? It will only be like this today, because we have new light bulbs arriving today. Are now, they me, out for delivery? They're, they they're, took a side trip to well, Greensboro. Let me, let me let me show you. Let me show you what let me show you how strong the living room lights are when we when we got here. Like this is how crappy. Ow. Also the static is terrible I think it's in this the couch, room. Steven. Ow! I discharged on metal and then I and then I touched a, a screw on the wall and I discharged a second time. Jesus Christ. All right, are All you right. ready? Wait, that's the wrong one. This one. Ooh, very dim. One light bulb. Yeah, it it's basically a little party trick. It does nothing. Ooh, they are out for delivery. Yeah, it's um Okay, you can stop flashing it now. It's real dumb. Uh, we, we ordered new light bulbs because um, the lights in here were just, you know, completely atrocious. So. All right, so the light bulbs arrived in Raleigh on the 2nd, and then they left Raleigh three hours later. I have lights set up from when we streamed. And then they went to Friday. Greensboro. And then they came back from Greensboro. Have I adequately discharged before I touch this camera, I swear to God. If I if I blow up the camera, I oh my God, there will be there. Why will are be, you touching the camera? Because I'm gonna slightly zoom it in. You can do it later. I can do it now that I've discharged everything. There, it should probably be a little more like that. There. There's actually a setting that I I disabled on the camera um, right when I got it because for vlogging purposes it was a nightmare. But actually, in a studio environment, would probably work. There's a setting where it bases the camera exposure, like if you've set it to auto exposure, it'll base it off of faces. So it exposes for faces. And in vlogging environments, it doesn't work very well because um, if at any point it loses your face, if you're moving the camera around, it is going to expose for the other parts of the scene. So the exposure goes like, all over the place. But in this environment where you always have a face right on camera, it might actually work because it can see it. So it would be able to expose for it. So that actually might work. I might turn that back on. And East Greensboro is like anyway. 90 minutes by car on highway. Uh, all right, final alert for today. 300 bits from Kid Shadow. It says, I didn't notice you in the background until you slowly walked back into view. Steven, please don't do that in the dark. Walk all the way to the door. <laughs> Am I on camera? No. How was that? Was that good? You're so lanky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to anyone just arriving. Anyway, we're done. Uh, Y'all have a... Uh, Y'all have a... Uh, it's a Wendigo! Y'all have a fantastic... Um, Tuesday. Tuesday. We'll see you on Thursday for another...
Stream Deck. How do I fix it? I don't know. How do I fix it? Do I need to just get a humidifier and put it on the table? Is that how I solve this problem? The why house is, is quite humid. Why is everywhere I go want to destroy everything I have? Why? Is it the couch? Is it the couch? Like the fabric of it? I don't know. I, I, I will replace the couches. If I know that it's the couches, if the couches are the reason, what is the... What if we had metal couches? <laughs> no. I just don't know what to do. The, the, the thermostat says that humidity is in a good range. Yeah. This shouldn't be happening. Is it the couches? Why is there so much static down here? I need to, I need to prevent this because I've destroyed a light and I've been super careful since I destroyed the light to not destroy anything else. But like, it's a, it's a very real worry. <sighs> what the, <laughs> I, what, oh Jeez, my God. Colors. What the hell am I supposed to do? I can't even touch the stream deck. You good? Maybe it's you, because I could touch it. <laughs> Pegamon says, just wear an anti-static wristband all the time. I... <laughs> <laughs> Probably well timed. Certainly, no, you're I'm not touching it. Okay. I'm touching it. You ready? We don't mute before you oh. go to end first, then you mute. Thanks, everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>